Here's a question that's bothered me since I was a kid watching the original Superman. In that movie, he flies so fast, he reverses the Earth's rotation and time itself. So I brought in the perfect guy to settle it, physicist James Kekalius, author of The Physics of Superheroes. I asked him if that scene is even remotely possible, and here's what he said. <laughs> You'd be surprised how often this question comes up. It's actually kind of fun because we've looked at this in my class, The Physics of Superheroes. And if you watch that clip over and over again, uh, you could make an estimate of how high up above the Earth's surface he is, looking at, you know, scales of things. And so you could figure out how the length of his orbit as he goes around, and you can time how long it takes him to go around the Earth, you know, count the number of orbits he makes and the total time that he does it. And when you do all this, you find that he's actually going faster than the speed of light. <laughs> now, uh, Einstein would say nothing can go faster than the speed of light, but if you were to go faster than the speed of light, then causality would break down, and time uh, would indeed travel backwards. It's not that he's making the Earth move backwards. It's that he's actually reversed the flow of time, so then the Earth would orbit in the opposite direction. And so, in that case, you could analyze it this way and say that that's, that's okay. That's legitimate. After all, they couldn't put it in a movie if it wasn't true. But, <laughs> and I've actually pointed this out to uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and he was well aware of the fact that he has to be going faster than the speed of light. He goes, yes, now explain to me how he's changing direction going faster than the speed of light. <laughs> and I had to throw up my hands at that one. There's an interesting um, story that I heard from the son of Mort Weisinger. Mort Weisinger was the editor of Superman comics back in the 1950s and 60s. And apparently back in the 1950s, uh, Weisinger got a letter from some physics students at MIT. And they were complaining in that in a recent issue of Action Comics, that Superman was shown traveling faster than light. And they pointed out, that Einstein's theory says that nothing can go faster than the speed of light, and how do you explain this? And Weisinger's reply was, Einstein is only a theory, Superman is fact. <laughs> <laughs>